The best sound starts here. SoundQuest in Worcester, Massachusetts. Car audio and visual. Custom fiberglass installation. Crave the Quest. 508-792-9906. I'm Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews and with me in the chair today and he is gracing us. There is no doubt about it. Oops. From LA. <laughs> he does have a home base here in Massachusetts which is awesome because he gets to bring all his fabulous indie movies and his expertise here to Massachusetts. So we're happy about the film tax credits and we want those to stay. We want to see more indie films here in Mass. I know he does too as well because Absolutely. I bet you that he's probably got two or three scripts rolling around just ready to pop out <laughs> after he finished The Boys? Boys, yes. Boys. Yes. Boys. See, Daryl Silver, welcome to the stage. Thank you. It's great to be back. Thank you. What is happening? Well, I tell you, we, um, we just wrapped the uh, sound design for the movie. So now we're uh, finishing it as we speak. And uh, within the next uh, week or two, we'll be done with the movie completely. And we'll be preparing to premiere the movie mm -hmm. here in New England. Mm -hmm. uh, very excited about that. Absolutely. We'll have some uh, screenings yeah. as well, at least in three theaters in and around New England. I know that for sure. Mm -hmm. And then we're already scheduled to be out in Las Vegas at the Brendan Theaters at the Palms. Mm -hmm. uh, as well and then we'll be doing a West Coast screening and premiere and our plan is to go on tour with the movie okay, to take how it does nationwide. That, how does that kind of work, go on tour with the movie? What does that mean? Well, it's a matter of contacting the uh, program managers or the GMs mm -hmm. at various theaters, indie theaters yeah. around the country, uh, showing them the trailer, a couple clips from the movie, uh, explaining a little bit about myself. Uh, it's good to have some background and some mm -hmm. resume, that, that certainly helps. <laughs> and uh, telling them, listen, you know, we'd like to do a weekday evening. We'll do the promotion. If you yeah. guys would hang a couple posters, that'll be cool. And uh, weekday evenings at theaters are fairly slow for the most part. We'll bring you guys out, you know, as close to a full house as possible. So they're thinking concessions, selling mm -hmm. candy and popcorn, yep. overpriced, of course. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we'll bring you guys a lot of PR, a lot of media, newspaper, mm -hmm. TV. Mm -hmm. And so they get excited about that. And in return, we're saying, listen, can you give us your theater either as a donation for free or possibly at say like a non-profit rate or a discounted rate mm -hmm. if we're going to be doing that. And of course for us it allows us to get it out there. Word of mouth is extremely important. Absolutely. That's how Big Fat Greek Wedding got really popular of course yeah. and a lot of the uh, like say Paranormal and uh, Blair Witch. Obviously a different genre yeah. but still it's the same idea. Mm -hmm. So my thought process versus my first feature which was a great experience huge like it is for any filmmaker doing their first feature is to not do the whole uh, manila envelope uh, envelope with the whole DVD inside mm -hmm. of it and mail it out, sit back and wait. I want to pound the pavement and bring it out to the public. Mm -hmm. I'm really proud of this movie. I know from a continuity perspective, from a sequence perspective, it's a very solid piece and I think it could do great things, you know, for the silver screen and I'm anxious to put it out there. Okay, and the silver screen is? The silver screen is um, myself. Uh, also, my partner is uh, my wife, Lisa. Yes. And um, we're based out of the West Coast and also the East Coast. We're bi-coastal <laughs> still. And it's a film production company. Uh, we also do like commercials, uh, music video. But the main concentration by far is most certainly doing the feature films. Uh, doing what it is we love to do. It's not merely a, uh, which is okay, but a video production company. It's a film production company. Mm -hmm. uh, we seek to make major feature films. Uh, already did one, which you know you were yeah. in, and yeah. your son Jeremy was in. Both of you did a phenomenal Thank job. You. Thank you. And this is our second feature. We've been working on it since 2007. No, so give us a little little taste. What what is Boys. Boys is and a... And why did you move from, what, you know, what, why boys? Why boy? you mean the title? No, the, the whole theme. The whole theme. It's a mob movie, uh, mafia movie. It is inspired by true events. 
And uh, I saw a lot of um, the, like the whole Italian, Irish, Lebanese thing. Um, growing up, there was a lot of very close knit families. A lot of the uh, the guys that liked to hang out and the you don't know the the mafia type guys, the tough guys. You know, growing up, I was I was in that scene quite a bit because I used to go out with my dad every weekend, uh, go out to eat, and then, you know, just to be very honest, you know, after we would do that, or after he'd get out of work, he'd go into bars, and, you know, I would be there as well, mm -hmm. you know, hanging out, because they had, like, the Space Invaders and the Pac-Man, <laughs> and I would play that, and play the jukebox, play Kiss on the jukebox. I was made for loving you, baby. And, <laughs> you know, all that, and I, I loved it. Yeah. So being around that, I, I grew up, fairly quickly listening to a lot of the conversations, seeing a lot of the brawls and, you know, all these things that go on and go down. So acquiring all that growing up and knowing a lot of these stories, I was always, um, always fascinated by it and always wanted to create it a movie. And obviously myself, along with many other people, um, get addicted to mob films. Yeah. I watched, um, you know, Casino again the other night. Oh, for the, what a phenomenal yeah, film. Watch it eight billion times. <laughs> yeah. I, and I watched it again like it was the first time. <laughs> Goodfellas, Bronx Tale, all those movies. It's the same thing. Yeah. You know, you get fascinated and you can't stop watching it. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's some like genius hypnotist or, you know, like mind method type person that comes in and gets hired for these movies. Yeah. Here's what we're going to put in these movies. And this is what's going to, yeah. you know, make people go, you know, when they watch it. I don't know. But it's that type of movie that makes a person want to see it again and again. Mm -hmm. So I was always fascinated. I love the whole um, the whole idea of a mob movie. The Boston really has a lot of that feel anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh, I love The Departed. That's like one of the more recent ones. Yep. Love that. It goes with the without saying. And I did Second Wind. And after I did Second Wind, I had already written half of Boys already. Um, because Second Wind was obviously in post. And while it was in post, I started writing the movie. By I think before the movie even premiered, Second Wind and what, fall of 06, mm -hmm. I'm, almost, I'm almost positive that all of Boys had been written already. Mm -hmm. So obviously there was a bit of tweaking. So come the fall of 2007, we had gone into production with it. And um, Lisa had always said, you know, your next movie should be a mob movie. She said, I always saw you as like a mob type character. I always saw you doing like a mob type movie. Mm -hmm. You don't know, you really should do it. And there was a little bit of her and I, I remember sitting in Santa Monica, going back and forth with, you should give this to, um, you know, at the time, Joel Swick, uh, my children's godfather who directed Big Fat Creek Wedding, was asking me to uh, hand him like an indie film script. I think at the time he was wanting to like produce indie movies and mm -hmm. he was kind of going through that phase. And she said, well, maybe you should give him this movie and go go with it on that note. And I said, no, I, I just, I don't feel that. I, I want to give him something different. I gave him something more of like metaphysical, spiritual. Um, and that's still actually sitting. And I, I'm in love with that script also. So that may be I the see, next I one. I knew you had scripts. Yeah, yeah, I you were right. <laughs> you were right. So, I know what you're thinking. That's I'm right. Ramona. That's I know. Right. I know. So, What's the website? Where can they see the trailer? Yeah. And when's... Do we have any dates for pr premiere yet? Well, I'm looking towards um, late January for the New England premiere. Okay. That's what I'm looking at. Um, and the screenings as well. Yep. I'm looking at February for West Coast. Okay. Um, because we already have that theater set up. We've already been working out um, some like New York, Chicago, Providence um, screenings or premieres because they're very mob Mm -hmm. Big time mm -hmm. mob cities, mm -hmm. especially Chicago. So we're looking at the early part of the year. We're certainly wanting to start it off 2011 yep. with the Big Bang. And they can check the website. What's the website? The website is, I'm doing individual sites now instead of trying okay. to compile everything into one, which is what the big boys do. <laughs> uh, Boysmobmovie.com. Okay. And on that site, uh, you can click the Facebook link. We'd love you to click like on Facebook, yeah. follow us, you know, stay up with updates. I started to like tweet quite a, uh, quite yeah. a bit now getting into the Twitter thing. They can certainly follow us on Twitter. I'm getting into that a lot now. And uh, there's a demand it link on the site as well where they can demand boys come to their city. Okay. And that grabs the attention from what I'm told of like certain studios and distributors and they like to see things like that. Yeah. It's almost like a band being out there selling their CDs and going, oh wow, look how many CDs I sold on SoundScan or yeah. whatever, so. I'm Ramona and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. See you at the movies.